This situation calls for an investigation. That investigation is underway. Another federal investigation at ADM after an explosion at the Decatur facility. It's the third investigation into the company this year. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Eight workers were hurt in the explosion. ADM officials say five are still in the hospital. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Henke is live outside the ADM facility. Cole, you talked to a worker who was right there when it happened. What did she tell you? Well, that worker spoke to me today on the condition that they remain anonymous to protect their job. But she said that after a series of events over the past year that she no longer feels safe working at ADM and actually spent the day today looking for a new job. And she's not the only one that's feels that's worried about the conditions at ADM. At around 7 p.m., an explosion in ADM's East Plant could be seen across Decatur. The 10-story building was on fire when Decatur firefighters arrived, and it caused severe damage to surrounding buildings. Firefighters and ADM personnel spent seven hours getting the fire under control. The U.S. Department of Labor opened an investigation into this incident. It's now the third investigation into ADM's Decatur site this year. The first from an incident back in April. The second from the fire that took place only two weeks ago. A federal Department of Labor spokesperson said in a statement that, quote, OSHA has six months to complete its investigation, issue citations, and propose penalties if violations of workplace safety and health regulations are found. A worker who was nearby said that they were lifted off their feet when the explosion happened. That worker spoke to WCIA on a condition of anonymity, and they said that they do not feel safe in their current working conditions. Congresswoman Nikki Budzinski is one of several lawmakers offering support in the aftermath of the explosion, but she also says she wants answers from ADM. I'm not going to stop until we get the clear answers as to what happened last night. Um, is there any, um, you know, connection to any of the other incidents that might have happened or not? That's why there are OSHA investigations. Congresswoman Budzinski says that she's had conversations with local labor officials who are also worried about those conditions. I'm going to continue to stay on this until we get the answers to these questions, because as I said, having a safe workplace is fundamental for all working people. Um, and we want to make sure that that, that that's what they have. Now, I reached out to ADM for comment today on the latest OSHA investigation, and they, a spokesperson responded with a statement saying, quote, the safety of our employees is always our top priority. We take incidents like these very seriously and are fully cooperating with OSHA's investigation. Reporting live in Decatur, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader. Cole, thank you so much. Now more into those investigations at ADM. Like he said, the first one happened back in April. OSHA says they have an open investigation into that accident where an employee was hurt on the job. They say it should be done by October. They're also looking into that fire at the corn processing plant two weeks ago. Two firefighters were hurt. The department says 10 trucks, seven engines, and 38 firefighters were dispatched. There was heavy fire and smoke coming from one tank and flames spreading to others. Firefighters were on scene for more than 12 hours to get it under control. OSHA says there's also an open inspection on that fire.